Ajahn Chah was a song I wrote because his teachings have had, um, I just found them really helpful. I mean, I've read all the books that I could find, basically, and, and all those books are just, those aren't books that he wrote, they're just talks they're, that he gave that were recorded in a book form. So when I'm reading those books, it's, uh, it's like I'm really there listening to Ajahn Chah giving a Dharma talk. Um, Ajahn Chah was a, um, he was the abbot of a Thai monastery. Also, you know, a highly revered teacher. I just found, because it was so helpful to me, the way that he taught, which was based on his own personal experience, he didn't really teach from books. He taught based on experience. And he would just share, you know, intimate kind of details about his own meditation practice and experiences. When you're trying to practice meditation and have that as a part of your lifestyle, uh, sometimes you can run into roadblocks along the way. I don't know, when you listen to the song, a lot of those lyrics are based off of his teachings, which are, of course, originated from the original Buddha. It's, a lot of it is his teachings, but it's also a song of gratitude. And that's kind of why I wanted to write a song about him. I don't really have another way of <laughs> expressing gratitude other than trying to practice myself what the things that he taught and to remember those things, try to keep them in mind daily, trying, trying to practice daily meditation. The teaching of non-self or not-self was important. But also he would quite often refer to many things in life as being uncertain. So that, I found that a value, valuable teaching because how many times have I thought that I was certain about something only to find out I was wrong? And I think we're conditioned to kind of be that way especially the more involved you get with um, media consumption. It's full of people trying to be certain about what's happening when a lot of those things we really can't be certain about. But you see a lot of people grasping at reality so that they can get a fix on it and say, this is the capital T truth, I am 100% certain about it, but I think Ajahn Chah taught differently. He said, don't, you know, don't be so certain about everything, because that's really not a characteristic, that's not a basic characteristic of life. It's not what the Buddha taught. Of course, the Buddha taught um, there are three characteristics of life which I sing about also in another song, but, you know, that it's, life is uncertain, suffering, and not self, or impermanent. He, he replaced the word impermanent with the word uncertain, which tells you things that we think are permanent and going to last forever are really not that way. And that's the basic characteristic of life. It's just things are changing all the time, too. So as soon as you think you have a fix on how things are, things change. And that can happen, too, with people are constantly trying to define other people in a really unrealistic way, just trying to pigeonhole people and, uh, be, and have your own little fixed idea of how they are. It's not true at all. It's uncertain. So that might be one of the most valuable teachings is constantly reminding myself 
when I think I know how things are or how a certain how a person is to remind myself well don't be so sure don't be so certain don't always believe everything that you think or nothing is really certain